Now, yesterday we will continue. Uh, we talked about uh, the arithmetic series, and we stopped, as I remember, in the uh, sigma. We say that if I need to write the sigma, I have to write the lower limit. I have to write the uh, beginning or the uh, upper limit. I have to write, I mean, the beginning number and the ending number. And also, I have to find the explicit formula. After I, I find these explicit routings, I can write the explicit formula. Now, and we uh, talk about this problem here. We say that if we have this number, the first thing, the, or this uh, series, I have to write the explicit formula. I have to write the first number and or the lower limit and the upper limit of the sequence or of the series. Which one should make on at uh, minus one then plus one? Here, like here, as an example, 70 starts from one to 70. What you have to do, you subtract 70 minus one, which is 69, plus one, which is 70. So the number of the number of the terms here for this summation notation is 70. Now, let's do this one here. Here now, what is the summation of each finite series? Summation from n equal one to 40 of three and minus eight. Now here, here now, in the previous one, I told you that you have an order of numbers, you have to find an explicit formula and you have to write the lower and the upper limit. Here now, I have the opposite. Here you have an explicit formula and I need you now to find the summation. Okay. I want to find the summation. What's my formula? It was the first term plus the last term times the summation times n over two. So, what do I mean now? I mean that I need that. I need the number of the terms. How can I know the number of the terms? If you look at the summation notation. Thank you, I will say 40 minus one plus one. 40 minus one is 39 plus one, which is 40. So I'm here, it will be 40. Now, this is what I need now. I need the first term and the last term. Now, since I know that uh, explicit first term is a sub n is three n minus eight, this is my explicit formula. Okay? Like how can I know? Or can I know or can I find now the first and the last term? Yes, I can. Because I have an explicit formula. I have n, which is the number of the terms. So it's easy for me now to find a sub n. So a sub n, it will be a sub one is three times one minus eight. Three times one is a three, minus eight is minus five. Teacher? Yes? Um, n equal one, is it the number of the term or the first term? Yes, the number, the number of the term. And here, the n of 40, it is 3 times 40 minus 8. Now, 3 times 40 is 240 minus 8, uh, 300, uh, wait, 3 minus 4 t is 120, minus 8 is 112. So my first term is negative one and 
my last term is 112. Then after that, I will add negative 5 plus 112, which is 107 times 40 over 2. 107 times 40, 0. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times uh, 0, 0, plus 1, 2, and 4 times 1, 4. So the answer now is 4,280 divided by 2 then, so it will be 2,140. This is now will be the summation of this, of the sequence or of the summation notation. Is it clear? Yes, sir, but just let me interrupt Okay, the others, Sarah. Yes, teacher, teacher, it is. Yeah. 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 Okay, Sarah, Habiba. Lama, Lana. Yara. Yes, teacher. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Can you repeat how to find A1 again? A1, okay. Let's check oh. here. Okay. Uh, what did I want to repeat? It's a way like 107. If you multiply 4 times 7, it's 28. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, now I have to find now A sub 1. Now, now as you know, Habib, I have. I need, sorry, A sub 1 and A sub n. A sub 1, it's mean the first term. And A sub n, it's mean the last term, or the limit and the upper limit. Now, A sub 1, I here, A sub 1. So what is the value of n? Yes, it's Habib, one. what is the value of n? It's 1. 1, exactly. So you have to evaluate 1. Instead of two, uh, instead of uh, so it will be three times one minus it. Okay, the value of n here is one. So you have now to evaluate three and n with one. So three times one minus it, which equal negative five. Like, do you remember in the functions? Like, if I ask you to find f of three. And the function is a 3n minus 8. If you have this one, f of 3 is a 3n minus 8. Okay, or f of x is a 3n minus 8. What is the value of f of 3? Can you tell me? It's 3 times 3 minus 8. Exactly, it's a 3 times 3 minus 8. Here also we have the same. A sub n like f, f of x, 3x minus a. But here not m, here it's a, that x is another name of variable, which is n. You will put now n with one. Or oh, if I substitute n with one. And the other for a sub 40, because it is an upper limit here, as you see, I just now substitute 40 instead of n. Is it clear now? Yes, teacher, thank you. Yeah, welcome. Now, now look at this one. This one is from uh, challenge or apply or any from your uh, problems, the last, maybe the last question. Find A1 for each arithmetic series. Look at this question. Here I have S sub eight equal S sub eight equal four hundred forty. What does it mean? Who can tell me if I see S sub eight? What does it mean? It is the number of the, the, end, the sum of the first eight terms. 
is what? One girl is only talking. It is. Uh, it is. It is the number of the term. Oh no! It is. S. It is the submission. Yes. So what does it mean here? That means I have a series. Okay. This series is from eight terms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, this is the I have now a series. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With eight terms. And the summation, the total of all of these numbers is 440. The total of them is 440. And the common difference between each two terms is D equals six. I want you now to find A sub one. Okay, now S sub eight, what is its formula? Or how can I find the summation of the series? What did you see? Uh, what it's by sec n over two, which means it's four, multiplied by a one plus a n. Now and that is equal to 14. So now here, S sub eight, that means n is eight. So eight over two. Now, a sub one, it's unknown. I need to find it. Plus. Now, a sub eight, is it known here? Can I find it? Yes. Yeah, yes. Does it written, I'm sorry. Does it written here in the question? No, yes. it's not given. How oh, yes. Teacher, it's 440. No, this is not A sub no. 8. Teacher, but we can find it using A1. Yes, yes, I, I, we can find it. But is it, does it give in here from this? No, question? no, it's not. No. It's not. S, S sub 8, it's mean the summation of the, of the series. It's not mean that the last not the number of the last. Year. Okay, Habiba, here I mean the, the total of the numbers. Then, after that now. So this is A sub eight, and note. not. I need to find A sub one. This number is given, and this number is known. So what I need now, I need now A sub eight. How can I find now A sub eight? Uh, teacher, we can rewrite it as A one. Like it's A one plus, uh, 7D. Yes, by using the uh, explicit the formula. explicit formula. Yes. So A sub 8 now, A sub 8, using, going, going back to the explicit formula of the arithmetic series. A sub n is A1 plus n minus 1 times D. This is my, I read, uh, sorry. this is my explicit formula for the arithmetic sequence. I will use it here now to find a sub eight. It will be a sub one plus n minus one, which is seven or at minus one times d. What is d? It is six. Uh, answer here, is it clear? Yes. Is it clear? Okay. Can start with the explicit formula? Yes, you can also. So here now, a sub eight is a sub one plus seven minus uh, seven, sorry, times six is 42. So here I have now, a sub eight is a sub one plus 42. And what I have to do now, I have to substitute a sub eight with my formula, with my formula here, With my formula here, 
Did you see it? This one here. A sub eight is equal. A sub one plus 42. So going back here now, I'm here. 440 equal four times a sub one, keep it as a sub one. And a sub eight, write it with a sub one plus 42. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, teacher, we can also solve it like a system. It's like a system of equations. When yes. We subtract yes. Each other. yes, also, yes. You can also by substitution or by subtraction. Here, I have, uh, or I need a sub eight. From where I bring a sub eight? By using the explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence. That's helped me to find any number of 10. Okay, so I need a sub eight. So I have to evaluate eight instead of n. Here as n, I have to put eight instead of it. Times d, which is six. And a sub one, I keep it as a sub one. So my new equation will be a sub eight equal a sub one plus 42. Then I have to evaluate or substitute by using the substitution rate. A sub eight, but instead of it, I have to write A sub one plus 42. Okay. okay, then after that, 440 is four plus A plus A is two A plus 42. Then, 440 equal 4 plus 2a plus 42. That's mean 440 equal. Teacher, is it 4 plus or 4 times? I said I wrote it as 4 plus. It's not plus. That's why I made a mistake now. So 440 is 8a plus 4 times 2 is 8, then minus 168 minus 168. 0 minus 8 is 2, 3 minus 6, I can let it be 3 here, and it will be 3, 2, 7, 272 is equal to 8a. Then after that, over eight. Yes. Two hundred seventy two is equal a eight a one over eight over Just eight, 34. which it will be thirty four. Thirty four. Thank you. So a one is equal to thirty four. This is the first or E X sub one for the first term. Is it clear? Yeah, it is. Okay. By now we finished our lesson, which is uh, uh, lesson three, lesson um, four, sorry. Now we will go to the next.